Okay, so just uh, a bit of advice for 20th Century Fox. If, if you want people to be excited about your movie and you want to get, you know, word of mouth out there and get the marketing team to do something creative to get your people to go see your movie, how about we don't just randomly stick robots from your film in a Chargers game in L.A., not tell anybody about it, and let Twitter completely just freak out thinking that iRobot is happening all over again? Guys, you got to warn people if you're going to just if you're just going to sit robots in if you're going to sit human life robots in this in a stands at a football game. You got to warn people about stuff like that. That probably turned everybody off to not wanting to see this movie and it's a damn shame because this movie is damn good. Very damn good. Gareth Edwards, John David Washington, Allison Janey killed it. Y'all also killed that marketing though, not in a good way, but this is the creator. Hey guys, it's your guy in the chair here, and look, this is my, uh, I keep wanting to say out of theater reaction. This is my review for the creator starring John David Washington, Gemma Chan, Allison Janney, uh, who else is in this movie? Ken Watanabe and was directed by Gareth Edwards and our story follows a man played by uh, John David Washington who has to go on this mission to essentially help the Americans find this weapon that this godlike AI creature named Nermona created in order to essentially wipe out all humans or that's what their thoughts are until he comes across what the weapon is it turns out to be a child who really is just so innocent in the whole world war, in the war that's going on between AI and man itself and this basically becomes a fight for survival between the two sides and John David Washington has to pick which side he's on that's the best way I'm going to describe describe the movie it's actually a pretty awesome way to describe this movie and look guys uh, like I said, the marketing team, I felt like, really did a bad job at trying to get word of mouth out for this movie because, like, my theater was completely empty. There wasn't anybody but me and my friend in there and then, like, two groups of other people. But there was an IMAX theater and I had a whole IMAX theater to myself. And we were talking. We are like, yo, I don't think a lot of people even know this movie is coming out. Like, everybody knows Saw is coming out this weekend because Saw's marketing is just brilliant. Nobody knows this is coming out and it's such a shame because... To, look, I know people are hating on Scorsese, but look, you guys took what he said completely out of context, for the most part, and what he's saying is damn true, because movies like this deserve your attention, and they're not getting it because, well, well like I said, the marketing's pretty ass, and just people think, you know, superhero movies and every and you know big blockbuster movies are what make the world go around, and it's just not true. Movies like these, though, movies like these are what make the world go around. This movie is absolutely phenomenal, like... Gareth Edwards, I'll, I'll start with him. Gareth Edwards, first of all, the inspiration that you see from all types of sci-fi movies are just around this entire, they're just, they're just encapsulated by this entire film. This movie is inspired by so much, and yet it made such an original film. This movie, I saw like James Cameron stuff going on from Alien. I saw uh, things that reminded me of Elysium, Avatar, um, District 9, like there's just so much sci-fi inspiration, even Rogue One, I saw some hints of that Star Wars stuff, there's so much, there's so much in this movie that it's just pulling from, and yet, for them to make such an inspirational and such an original, original masterpiece, in my opinion, this is, this is a, this is going to be one of the most underrated sci-fi movies of all time, in my opinion, I feel like this thing is going to fly majorly under the radar, and it really shouldn't, because this movie is amazing, I want to start with Gareth, Ed Gareth Edwards, not only with his inspiration for making this movie, and you can see it all throughout the film itself, but this, this movie is beautiful, it's so freaking beautiful to look at the the set pieces are so harmonious they're so calming and peaceful and then when it's the war going on it's so it's it just looks great the visual effects are amazing the special effects are beautiful the way the ai's have their like literally they they have human emotion like the way they have these robots actually portray like they have human voices you would think and the there's always this con this internal conflict between you know, the humans and the AI, when they say they're not real, it's just programming. You know, they don't think, the humans don't think that the robots have any emotion. They don't think they're real. They don't think they have feeling like they do. But they do. They're, they're creatures. They're real. And it's, oh, 
God, this is such a beautiful story. Like, yo, this movie truly had my my jaw just on the floor the um, damn near the entire movie because Gareth Edwards just pulled off something that was incredible from a directorial standpoint and the performances the performances in this movie are ridiculous John David Washington dude <laughs> John David Washington is ridiculous man I mean he's just insanely talented and it's just all it just it's just from any scene this dude is in, not like honestly, and the great thing about it is I don't even see his dad. I don't see his dad at all. I see John David Washington doing a damn good job just being himself. Like this dude, and thank God too, because Amsterdam, dude, I was really worried about you after that movie, but you were getting back on the right track. Good, uh, because you are an incredible actor and you need to just be doing great things. Um, Gemma Chan loved Gemma Chan in this movie. Ken Watanabe was a big standout, but for me personally, the person who absolutely stole the show. Um, actually, I'm going to be real with you. There's kind of two people that steal the show. But th this one, preferably for me. Alice and Janie. Alice and Janie was a badass. She channeled her inner Stephen Lang from Avatar and was kicking ass in this movie. She was amazing. I loved Alice and Janie in this movie. I mean, I'm telling you guys, like, the emotional depths, the, the the places that these characters have to go in order to pull off performances like this, it's very beautiful. It's very heart... It's heartbreaking and heartwarming at the same time because this is just... This is a movie just about war and just how humanity is truly just eating itself alive from the inside because they can't seem to want to trust what these AIs are. And then the AIs are on that side just in fear of their life. It's just, it's a very beautiful story. It's one that you've definitely seen before. It's just, I say I say that it's original because it's just never been done in this personal way, in my opinion. Like, you can, you can definitely tell that it's been inspired by so much. Like I said, Elysium, District 9, Avatar... Shoot, any damn near any James Cameron movie, look, this movie pulls from a lot, but it does make sure that it creates its own story and one that you can resonate with. And the second standout in this film was the child actor who played Alfie. Her name was Madeline Univoilez. She was outstanding. She was, for a child actor, I mean, she was really good. And, and the, the, it's crazy because the final shot of this film that includes her literally made me go wow she's amazing she's an amazing actress that the child in this movie is so good first of all like i said the visual effects the the stuff that they do with their skull i don't know how they did that put the have the ais have the little holes in their heads with the whatever metal piece that is i don't know how they pulled any of that off but it all looks amazing it all looks beautiful this movie is freaking awesome the action in this movie is ridiculous the story the pacing of the film is great i will say this i what i honestly Towards like the end of this film, I'm thinking to myself, dang, if they really wanted to, they could make like two or three of these, but they only clearly wanted to make one by how this thing ended. So the the for me, the movie kind of gets dragged out towards the end. It kind of feels like it's getting a little long, but uh, personally, it's only because they just wanted to end it. They wanted to make one movie. They made that personally. They made that prefer uh, not preferably. They made that very clear that they only wanted to make one movie and. I'm not mad at it. Like I said, I personally could see this thing being broken down into two or three movies, but it's okay. If you only want to make one movie, that's fine, but they made a damn good one. Um, my only That's my only really complaint about the film is just like the ending just feels kind of dragged out, but it's because they only wanted, they didn't really want to continue this story. So, I mean, I can't really blame them for that. And other than that, guys, like I said, this is a movie that I feel like is really going to fly under the radar. Not a lot of people are going to see it. I really hope you do. I really want people to go see this movie because it's... If you if you're a, if you're a sci-fi fan, you have to see this movie. If, if you're a John David Washington fan, you have to see this movie. Even if you're not a fan of those things, I would recommend you watch this movie just for the utter point of just being completely astounded by what you see. And please go see it in IMAX. IMAX will definitely bring every visual, every effect, every single beautiful canvas that this movie is showing you. IMAX brings it out to a glorious glorious standpoint and guys for all those reasons and so many more i'm gonna give the creator a 4.25 out of five stars all right guys so the creator have you seen it what did you think about it look thank you so much for watching guys i really do appreciate it be sure to like share subscribe all that good stuff and so much more look guys this is your guy in the chair more content coming to you soon